first few sips of coffee. I um, woke up, I went on a little meditative walk this morning. It's something that I'm starting to do um, just to kind of like collect my thoughts in the morning. I wake up pretty early. I'm trying to do this a few mornings a week. Then I did my blog a lot and in my skincare routine as, as you saw. And a uh, fun update, I called the um, Mazda service people and they were so awesome. So I purchased my Mazda a year, close to slightly less than a year ago. So I have three years of uh, roadside assistance and um, it was so fast and so efficient. I just called, they were able to locate me by virtue of my phone, which is, which is awesome. The guy came expeditiously. I got texts and um, phone calls uh, from the company updating me like as to his estimated arrival. He called me once he was here. And anyone of anyone who has ever had to come to my apartment complex, getting into the parking garage can can is just not intuitive. This guy already knew how seemed to know how it worked, um, and he jump started my car very quickly. It was indeed the battery, so all good there. My car is fixed. Thank you, Mazda service people. My Nika's home cinnamon bun soy candle that I got the other day on Amazon, and okay. Hovering over it, it smells fantastic. I mean, it is just wonderful. But Nika, we're just not working out. I'm so, so sad, guys. I really wanted it to work out with us. Um, myself and Nika, I had such high hopes, but she's just not permeating at all. I mean, it's as though I'm not even burning a candle. I, when I walk into my apartment, I, I just don't smell it. And that's what I want, is to smell it when I walk in, at least into my living room. And I don't. I only smell it when I bend over kind of the vicinity of my coffee table, so. Well, hey guys. So, productive morning. And I am headed out. <laughs> I, I'm sure you all have guessed where I'm going. It's Sunday, so I'm going to get a lot of swatch. Um, but I am uh, back on the NYX. Uh, I, this, some of you guys mentioned that in last week's video, you couldn't hear my uh, what I said. It's the NYX, N-I-X is the book that I'm listening to. The author is Nathan Hill. It is really, really enjoyable. Um, I recommend 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 that in my husband's wife which was the last audiobook I um, I uh, I had going I really enjoyed as well <laughs> are really chapped this morning and it's not because of that tomato jelly lip tint it's because of those um, that crystallized lime that I've been using <laughs> at nighttime I think it gives me an irritant colitis because of the pure because of the lime because when, whenever I eat that stuff it tastes really good it's just like crystallized lime powder with uh, dried cilantro and um, it causes like um, dryness and peeling and I imagine it, it puts you at risk for phytophotodermatitis which happens when limes are on the skin, lime juice gets on the skin and then comes in contact with the sun. Uh, it can cause a really bad rash. So that's why I have the sunscreen on on top of it. Um, but it's not that tomato jelly lip tint that it is. It's, it's that lime powder. So I have to be careful eating it. But it's so good. I love that stuff. Um, and I love it because it doesn't have any salt in it. But it, it gives a really good uh, flavor. It tastes really good on the rice cauliflower. Um, is it like a citrusy zing with the cilantro? It's good. I'll link it down below what I'm talking about. So you if you guys missed where I cooked with it earlier. Hey guys. <clears throat> So I'm over here at Kroger. Um, so I'm over here at Kroger. Um, but good news. Guess what's on sale? 
for $6.99. The Tuscany candle. This is far and away the best candle. I'm so sad the soy one is not working out for me, but I'm tempted to get that for sure. And look at these bougie jars they have at the Tuscany candle company. They're sort of like Bath and Body Works uh, wannabes. Maybe better. Now I wonder if sweet cinnamon is good. Oh yeah, that is good. These are really nice. I love these jars too. Fraser fur is really good. Somebody was asking me, somebody in the comments mentioned that Fraser fur is your favorite. This one's really good. I've never purchased it and burned it myself, but it smells really good. It's Christmassy. I'm looking at the mag the home and living magazine type things. Um, you know, so you know how the other day I was talking about how um, like the um, like browsing Audible is just not as gratifying as like going into a bookstore and touching and interacting with books. I feel the same way about magazines. Like online media, while don't get me wrong, I spend hours on it and like reading blogs and that kind of thing. Um, it doesn't have the same relaxing appeal to me as um, just like looking something through a good like home living recipe like cooking magazine because I kind of get like overstimulated with a lot of online media because there are too many ads and just like, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm looking over here and, okay, I'm really excited about this magazine. I have never seen it before. It's the Mother Earth Living Natural Home Healthy Life. Um, it kind of speaks to the Loma Linden uh, kind of dietary. Um, I think they even mention it in here, but I'm really liking the looks of it. It's got like these awesome plant-based recipes and just household uses for rosemary. How cool is that? This looks very soothing. Okay. Now, admittedly not like the most vegan-centric thing as a child, I would pour over this magazine, The Taste of Home, and the fall baking, oh my god. This is a good one, a good one, a good one. I mean, there's not a picture in here that you're not like ravenous to make. I mean, it's just... I find that these Taste of Home magazines are give you the most bang for your buck too because they really, really pack in. I mean, it's like practically an entire cookbook worth of recipes. Oh look, Chip and Joanna's magazine. I love that I call them Chip and Joanna as if we're BFFs. <laughs> Attitude of gratitude. I'd love to have a note from Joe. Undoubtedly, she's a gorgeous woman, but a real critical component of her underlying beauty, I think, is the confidence that she exudes. Mom, are you watching? Are you watching? Mom? Mom, are you watching? Look at this. Just, just putting that out into the universe. Um, I could totally see this rocked in Vlogmas, I'm just saying. This is here at Kroger, Mom, for a mere $9.99. Display until October 30th. I hope she sees this and gets over here and makes them. Okay, I'm over here in my favorite section, the clearance bins, where you have to rummage and sometimes find some good things. But, non-vegans, no shame if you're a bacon eater. But is anyone else, like, disturbed by the fact that you can buy fully cooked bacon? Like, like a pork derived product, fully cooked bacon in a box from a bin. It terrifies me. What have we come to? I can see why this might be appealing to some people. For two two uh, rectangles of this uh, 
monosodium nitrate. Yeah, it's uh, 60 calories, 6 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat, zero carbs. I can see this being a popular eating item. But, oh man. Kraft, you have done. You have outdone yourself in preserving. Oh, and you, you can microwave it for extra, extra zhuzh. Who else is terrified by this? Okay, I have to say, I really love Olay. Like, they're fine and everything, but I'm kind of disappointed with this regenerous micro sculpting like line. Okay, here's what they've done. They've come up with some dumb products that make no sense. They put different colors on the packaging and they're charging an exorbitant price for these things, okay? For the supposed fragrance-free uh, regenerous micro sculpting cream, they're charging 27 bucks. My word, that's expensive, okay. That's like Dr. Jard's expensive um, to be getting at Kroger here. And it's got all these claims about how it works, but all it is is a little bit of niacinamide is the only thing that, you know, can impart a brightening effect in this, if anything. I mean, it's great that it's fragrance-free and everything, but there is absolutely nothing special about this. It doesn't even appear to have um, ceramides in it. So I don't really know what this is offering uh, that they're touting to be able to regenerate the skin. I mean, this is just... Please do not fall for this. Uh, it's 27 bucks here on sale. I mean, that is, that is just way too much. What is it normally? I don't want to mess that up, but I'm just putting it back tightly. Okay. And then, likewise, a micro sculpting cream. They've taken the same thing and put it into a baby, baby bottle. Oh, this is a trial size. Oh, they love to stick anti aging on here. <laughs> so dumb. There's no such thing. Okay. $27. Like, they're preying, they're preying on our, our desire to anti-age. That's exactly what they're doing. Olay, Olay, this is a weak move. Now they've put it in a purple bottle for age-defying anti-wrinkle. They took anti-aging and they, they put another <laughs> dumb synonym. Equally, an equally stupid synonym of uh, anti-aging is anti-wrinkle. They're synonymous. Stupidity. I mean, they're not, they just don't exist, okay? Um, a day lotion that's SPF 15, that's a weak sunscreen to begin with. It should be 30 to 50. Um, and it's a chemical sunscreen. I mean, this is not like no better than any other sunscreen, okay? It's on clearance here for $13.49, which is not too bad, I guess, but I don't know. I am intrigued by this uh, age defying, uh, what is this? A, uh, a cleanser, a creamy cleanser. This looks actually pretty good. Ignore the marketing claims of age defined. Just, just ignore that, period. Um, this, but this looks like a fragrance. Oh, it's got fragrance in it. Never mind. Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, in a wash form, I'm sure it's fine. Um, it just shouldn't be left on the skin, but this actually looks like it's probably okay. Um, and for $5.49, that's actually a really good deal, so I ain't mad at that. All right. Now there's this Olay Luminous Light Hydrating Lotion. This whole Luminous series. What What is this offering? $27. Okay. And a moisturizer. <laughs> Again, this is, they, they basically put the same thing in here. And I, I don't know, they made it colorless and in a gel form. But it's basically just glycerin and a little bit of niacinamide, which can impart a brightening effect. But at $27? I mean, honestly, what, what is this offering? Nothing. Has anybody tried this? Um, yeah. I do know that this has niacinamide in it. Um, so if that irritates you, that might bother you. Okay, this is going to fade dark spots. What does it have in it that could possibly do that? Let's see. Um, it appears nothing. <laughs> uh, yet another lie. Oh, well, maybe niacinamide. Okay, a little bit of niacinamide. Okay, so these are essentially... These essentially offer the same ingredients. One appears to be a cream form and one is a gel form. This is one that you guys always mention and I've always wanted to try it though actually because it's got this cute um, old school packaging on it. It's the Olay Active Hydrating uh, Beauty Fluid Lotion. Um, this always looked good to me. Um, I think this is a good one. Actually I may have tried this when I was like in high school and I liked it I think. Um, the beauty fluid. Of course they put the good stuff down here in the bottom. You can't find it. <laughs> 
And then they also have these all day SPFs. I just wish the SPF value was a little bit higher, like 30. 15's kind of wimpy away. What's with that? Why don't you make it 30? Come on. If you want to really like push your anti-aging claims, you gotta do at least 30. Oh, here we go. Here's the total effects. SPF 30. Moisturizer with sunscreen, 22 bucks. I guess it's not too far expensive, but. Do any of you guys use the OA sunscreens? Comment below. calls for a little relaxing lavender with my good old fave or acacia here um i have really been enjoying the ginger mint and my um car actually i just keep it in my bag and uh spritz it um around the car mats and around the um kind of um, vent if you will and i find it kind of keeps the car smelling fresh but essential oil update as far as home keeping i don't use these in any sort of manner for skincare but i just fired up my uh wash washing machine uh to do a load of laundry and i've really been enjoying the um sweet orange oil um a few drops of that in the washing machine is has been really nice and as far as the other oils that i've tried in housekeeping i put a few drops of the um eucalyptus in here can you see it of the eucalyptus in an atomizer with um, a little bit of witch hazel and uh, water. And uh, I'm really enjoying spritzing that um, kind of around the um, uh, entryway of my apartment, kind of the doorstop area and kind of underneath the uh, the washing machine, the, sorry, the dishwasher in my kitchen, you know, kind of where crumbs and stuff accumulate. I feel like it just, I wipe down under there really, really carefully. And then I like to come in with a few spritzes of this. I don't know if it's a deterrent to, to those little night crawler things, but um, if I were a night crawler, I would be alarmed by this smell. It uh, is pretty strong, but, but nice. And then I kind of like to just huff this out of the bottle. This is the this is the peppermint one from uh, from Japan. This will uh, really get you thinking. <laughs> it's a good one. But anyways, guys, I am gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.